All right, so let's do um, what we're going to do here is uh, the, the formative assessment 5.3. The first two questions on this simply just use this formula. The force of gravity is g m1 m2 over r squared, right? Where you've got two spherical masses or two point masses. R is the distance separating their centers. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, and this is a force of attraction, right? Uh, G is going to be our universal constant of gravity, and it's in the data packet. It's 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th newton meters squared per kilogram squared, right? So the first one is always just toss the numbers in the formula, see what you get for your force, right? So 6.67 e minus 11, right? Newton meters squared per kilogram squared, right? And then we're times uh, 100 kilogram probe, right? And then it's going to be a, a 1.05 e 13 uh, kilogram uh, comet, right? Okay. Um, and then we got to divide that by. And this is, by the way, this comet is highly not spherical. This formula wouldn't work very well. Um, but we'll, you know, we'll just go with it, right? And then it's 2.05 2 kilometers, right? So it's 2.05 zero meters, right, squared. Now, if you look before we do the calculation, right, notice that meters squared cancels meters squared, kilograms and kilograms cancels kilograms squared. We'll end up with newtons, right? So I'm just typing this in, 6.67e minus 11 times uh, 100 times 1.05e uh, minus, or e13, not minus 13. It's very small. Okay, divided by... Uh, Two zero five zero squared, right? And I'm getting that the force is zero point zero one six 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 five newtons. We had to round it to that spot. Uh, let's see. I guess it would definitely round up, right? So point zero one six seven newtons, which is kind of amazing, right? Uh, one kilogram mass weighs nine point eight one newtons. This thing is uh, very very small force, right? Okay, so um, that's because this is not Earth. This is just some tiny little comet, right? 